Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the Bald Explorer, and I'm out on a walk on my quest for England, exploring the English countryside and history, landscape and nature. This is part two of a walk that I'm doing. I'm on a recce. I'm meeting up with Fran and Rich from floating our boat in a couple of days. And I thought I'd try and find a, a, a route that we can go for a walk over the South Downs that doesn't involve going through a cow field. Fran and Rich aren't particularly keen on cows. I'm not very keen on cows. The other thing is the route has got to be suitable for a buggy. It is a, an all-terrain buggy and I'm currently on the Sussex border path just north of Brighton. Um, seems to be a lot of this Sussex border path. It is 150 mile long. We've got some cows here. This is a field that I originally was going to have to cut through but didn't like the look of the cows. I'm sure they're very friendly and docile and wouldn't hurt a fly but uh, I'm not going to chance it, I just don't like cows ganging up on me. It's not that I, it's not that I think that they're going to um, eat me or attack me, but in a mass they might accidentally knock me over and trample me down. We've got the farmer out over here behind me, he's just coming up, I don't want to film him gratuitously, but uh, there he is. Morning! trucking along in his in his red truck there. I'm sure he would have laughed if he'd seen me nancying through the cow field like some fool. I was hoping in my previous video to find a trig point um, on the map. It's further back but it's I couldn't see it. Don't know if it's still there. These cows have got calves so they may be somewhat more anxious which is another reason not to go in the field. Hello. I mean they are very beautiful animals. I do like them from the perspective of looking at them but I don't want to be in amongst them if they kick off. Right, interesting. We've got a, a whole load of different signages here. Sussex border path carries on to my right. This is a track, but there is a, a oh, there's the gate. I was gonna say, I couldn't see it. Here we are. I was going to say, I haven't seen any runners or anything today, but actually there's one coming up towards me. But we head this way. Fantastic scenery here. Now, there are cow pats. <laughs> oh, God. There are cow pats. Look, there's one here. Looks fresh. Bit of a worry. So, slightly nervous. But the path here, at least one can walk on. I think we might just have to chance this. If we get this far and we decide we don't want to go in there, we can always turn back. The countryside is just looking delicious this morning. Lovely green pasture. Lovely to see that. Not so much the monoculture, but a diversity in there. Morning. Right. This is going to curve round westwards. So effectively, on my original path, I was hoping to go down through some woods and come back on myself at the bottom of a, a hill. This is effectively doing the same. I don't think there's any woods, unfortunately, but um, it will curve round and take me back eventually to the car. It's probably a, an extra mile and a half from here, I think. I have uh, come to the bottom of the hill on this same footpath just ahead of me uh, were cows. Can't really see them at the moment. They are in the in the woods to the left. These are all hawthorn trees. Oops. And I am... Oh, there's more up ahead. Damn. 
this is putting the kibosh on this return and because they've got their calves I'm uh, I'm quite nervous about it that said there is a fence to the right which I may climb over oh look there's a cow not everybody is keen on cows and I am one of them I wonder if you can get through that field whoops I nearly fell over then I'm going to try and get into this field you can see them they all look very nice and everything and there's a gate up ahead don't come near me they are talking to each other I'm, I am managing to pass hello gosh they look like happy families right I just am nervous of them the lovely Julia He's not nervous at all. There's another set, damn it. There's another set to get to. And then I'm on the road. This path is not going to be ideal either. I've got to come back home. I mean, I've got to get to the car. I'm not going back up now. I will, I will whiz round. More cows, as you can see. They seem all right. And the gate. I have survived. Oh my, I have survived. There we go. Phew. Right. I've got to walk back along this road. So uh, best to face the oncoming traffic, I think, so I shall cross over on this side. Right, we're coming off the road now and climbing over a stile. We leave this road and uh, the cows, we're going to climb up a hill. We go along a bit and then go up. It basically goes parallel to the road and then uh, it will sweep round but uh, yes I think I'm going to probably have to abandon abandon that so the path might just be the Sussex border path and we just go as far as we want really and turn around and go back I think that's what I'm going to do with my walk however this one uh, having got through the field and I feel alive I'm going to uh, see where this see what the scenery is anyway I'm walking back on the road. Great colour and wild flowers here. Looks very nice, but dangerous. Dangerous to walk along here. These are some of these are quite exquisite, quite exquisite flowers, I have to say, just on this verge. And it's lovely to see lots of different varieties, there's even blackberries there I notice, and brambles and whatever that is. Tons of stuff here. Poppy down there. This is what the downs should look like. Not just the verges, but the downs. This is what should be there, enriching the soil. This is just stunning. This array of beautiful flowers giving the soil, the insects, absolute important stuff.
So it's a treat in itself to see all this. It really is. But the, the walk is supposed to be right over there in this field beyond, up on the ridge and across. Well, up on the ridge and across by the trees in the far distance there, you probably can't see, it's too far on a wide angle lens. Cows again. I've had my fill of cows, thank you. So fortunately the path is just following the road. And it is the road that I need to follow for a bit. So this will take me back to my car, but it's not the intended route. So this won't be on my walk. But this verge is just delightful. If only the whole downs was like this. Oxide daisies down there. Stunning, really stunning and lovely to see. path sign and now come off the road here we've got water hall no admittance authorized access only but it is a public footpath so it's, it's just talking about cars so we can follow this road down and it will wind its way across this lateral pasture I think there's probably a route that you don't have to drive down, I'm not sure. And it will take me back to my car. Waterhall Golf Course Practice Ground. Oh, I see. It's the sort of a sward of area just beyond these grasses. You can practice and people walk their dogs. How lovely. Or, like me, you can just stroll down on the road. That's the golf. Uh, centre behind me and the road takes you to the golf course or the headquarters the golf the clubhouse and now I've got to find where the fub public footpath is that takes me back down to the car I may well be wandering here for a while thank you for watching don't forget to follow like and subscribe if you enjoy what I do, give me a thumbs up and uh, why not become a patron and support me? Pound a month, couple of quid, something like that, price of a cup of coffee. Puts petrol in the car and helps me get out and about. Might even help me buy a map. <laughs> right. I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.